Well, you know, one of the legislative issues largely put aside because of the pandemic this year was criminal justice reform. It's a topic long talked about by Tennessee lawmakers, and it's likely to be at the top of their agenda next year. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard spoke with the House Speaker about this issue. In a few words this week, House Speaker Cameron Sexton described the broad goals of criminal justice reform, tough but fair. You don't want to have a revolving door. You don't want to have recidivism. Um, but I think you, you need to have tough punishment. Um, but you also need to be fair whenever they serve their time and they come out and that you give them the opportunity to be successful. That's the big picture for criminal justice reform, which has been a topic in recent years from D.C. to Tennessee. We cannot continue to do what we've been doing in the past. Those words from a Franklin state representative late last year at the groundbreaking of a home for women exiting incarceration. Building more prisons may not be the answer, say some lawmakers like Sam Whitson, but will resources be made available to help nonviolent offenders? That's the debate ahead, says the House Speaker. That means maybe some alternative sentencing, maybe helping them uh, find a job when they come out, some rehabilitation services. There are lofty goals for criminal justice reform bills that go right to the top. Here's Governor Bill Lee last December about what reforms could accomplish. And that'll improve, improve our recidivism rate for one and lower our crime rate at the same time. If COVID-19 lingers, it will be difficult to say how much progress can be done on criminal justice reform up here next year. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. Governor Lee's office has indicated he has been meeting with committee members who will be involved in criminal justice legislation.